Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, perhaps, wherever you are. My name is Laya. Grab anything that you may need for the practice. You can see that I have two blocks here and I'm also sitting on a yoga mat. However, those things are not necessary. If you have a surface that's comfortable enough for you, you can do that. You can. So the intention here is just to take some time to center, ground, and then from there we'll do a little bit of gentle movement. So it is quite great whether it's early in the morning, middle of the day or end of the day. Make sure that you have anything that you may need. So again, if you have props that you like. I've been working on drinking more water, so I make sure that I have some water and I take a sip every once in a while. So just go ahead and find a comfortable seat. Maybe you like to elevate your hips a little bit since we'll be seated for a while. Maybe on a block or a meditation cushion or a pillow. And like I said, you could also lie down if you wanted to. But wherever you go, before you completely settle in, maybe you give yourself a few moments to stretch out, move around. And then bring any supports beneath you and around you that you would like to use. And before you close your eyes, if that's your choice today, take a moment to look at your surroundings. So maybe you move your head from side to side as you do so. Noticing the colors and the shapes. You can look up and down and around. If it's relevant to you, know where your exits are. And eventually, just bring yourself to stillness. Letting your eyes, your gaze soften down toward the earth. Or if you rather, you can let your eyes softly close. Listen to the sounds around you. Perhaps see if you can reach the furthest sound. Or the most unfamiliar or the most interesting. And then start to draw your attention closer to the sounds of people and nature and life around you. Drawing your attention closer and closer toward yourself. What is the temperature of the environment like? Do you perceive it to be warm or cool? Is there a breeze that you can feel? Just whatever you can notice. Let yourself notice it. And then move on to the next thing. Starting to let your mind know that you are choosing to be present now. That you are aware of everything that's going on around you. And yet you're choosing to be with yourself. Just for a little while, just because you can. Take a deep breath in through your nose, expanding your belly your ribcage, your chest, perhaps you choose to hold at the top. Open your mouth and let it go. Take a couple more breaths like that at your own pace, inhaling perhaps through your nose, letting your entire body expand front to back, side to side, top to bottom. And let it go. One more deep breath in. Inside out. Notice the supports beneath you and around you. Maybe you let your physical body settle 2% more or 5% more.
Let every muscle, every fiber release a little bit of the tension. And let yourself observe how your physical body feels. Perhaps it feels supportive to kind of scan the entire body from the bottom to the top. Or maybe you rather just observe what's going on in general. Either way, see if you can let yourself be with what is tension, discomfort, pain, but also let yourself feel and observe what feels good, open, relaxed. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Fill up your entire body. Open your mouth, side out. Two more like that. Inhale, fill up, expand. Let it go. Deep breath in. Let it go. If it resonates with you, bring both hands over your heart or one hand to your heart and the other hand to your belly. Notice what that feels like as you simply feel your heartbeat. Notice the rise and fall of breath coming in and out of the body. And as you recognize that you are here right now, no matter if it's the end of your day or the beginning or the middle, can you be exactly as you are? Can you for a moment perhaps consider the possibility that you can love yourself just as you are without any need to improve anything? Deep breath in. Side out. You can keep your hands wherever they are. Or if you'd like, you can bring your palms together in front of your heart in Anjali Mudra. And as you notice and observe how you feel, as you recognize that you've chosen to be here now with yourself. Maybe you let an intention start to form. Perhaps it rises from your heart. Perhaps it rises from the center, whatever that means to you. What could you use a little bit more of right now? If nothing comes to mind, perhaps you simply ask for clarity. Take a deep breath in, fill up your entire body. Open your mouth, sigh it out. Maybe you make a little bit of sound. <sighs> Release your hands back down. Inhale, lift your shoulders up toward your ears. Maybe make fists with your hands. Squeeze your fists, squeeze your arms, your shoulders, the muscles of your face, your neck, anything you can notice in your body right now. Tighten, tighten, tighten. And then let go as you exhale. Notice any extra softening that's happened. Notice the stillness that you can connect to whether your mind deems it sufficient or not. Deep breath in. Side out. Begin to rub the palms of your hands together, creating warmth as you create friction. And move the hands as quickly or as slowly as you'd like. You can also skip this if that doesn't feel good for you. 
and then start to bring your hands over your eyes, covering a little bit of your face, noticing the warmth, maybe the vibration of the hands. And then just slowly start to open your eyes. Begin to separate your fingers, allowing the light to filter through, whether it's soft or intense, give yourself time here. And then slowly release your hands back down. If you're lying down on the ground, you can feel free to stay there or start to stretch yourself out and come to a seat if you're already seated. Stretch and move in any way that you'd like. There's absolutely no right or wrong. So if you find yourself looking at the screen to be like, hmm, I wonder what Laya is doing. Maybe it is relevant if you're really unsure of what to do. But perhaps you really just rather move in any way you'd like. And eventually come to a seated position if you've been sitting in the same way for a while. Maybe you stretch your legs, maybe you shake them out, maybe you move them around. And then just find a seated position again that works for you. Bring your hands to your lap or your knees, roll your shoulders up, back, and then down. Lengthen through your neck, lengthen through the crown of your head. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring your right ear toward the right shoulder. Inhale, bring your neck back to neutral. Exhale, take your ear toward the other shoulder. Back to center. Inhale, lift your chin, chin a bit. Open through your throat. Exhale, your chin down towards your chest. Bring your, bring your neck to neutral. Inhale, look over your right, right shoulder. Exhale, back to the center. Inhale, look over the left shoulder. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, lift your shoulders up. Exhale, roll them back and down. Two more times. Inhale, shoulders up. Maybe your elbows also start a circle. Exhale, back and down. One more. Inhale. And exhale, keep your hands behind you. Lift your chest, open up through your heart, through the front of your throat, through your chin. Maybe you stay here with your hips on the ground. If you'd like to also open up through the front of your hips a bit more, start to press up and maybe your hips lift. Not necessary though. A Couple more breaths wherever you are. And then if you lifted your hips, lower them back down. If you're cross-legged, maybe you switch the cross of your legs. If you are seated in any other way, maybe you switch the way that you're seated. Ground your sit bones, lengthen your spine, take your arms out to the sides and up. Inhale, take your arms up. Interlace your hands, flip your palms up toward the ceiling and stretch up. Maybe your shoulders lift up toward your ears. Maybe you consider bending the elbows. See what feels best right now. Inhale. And on your exhalation, take your hands a little bit to the left. Press your rib cage a little bit to the right. So notice that you don't have to go very deep. See how can you expand into the right side body a bit more? Maybe your gaze goes up toward the right. Notice what your breath is like and let everything else be a little less important. Come back to center, lengthen a bit more through the sit bones all the way through the hands, inhale. Exhale, take it to the other side. Again, there's no need to go super far, just gently press the left rib cage to the left and send your hands a little bit over to the right. Consider what's best for your neck and breathe. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Come back to the center, take your hands behind you, press through your palms, lift your chest, maybe lift your hips, your choice. Breathe in. And breathe out slowly, bring yourself back to neutral. Bring your feet in front, move your knees a little bit side to side. Maybe your feet are a little bit wider. Maybe they're a little bit more narrow. Just notice what feels good. One more, inhale. 
and exhale. Bring your feet in front of you a little bit wider than your hips and it might take a little bit more, so maybe your feet a little further forward, maybe they're closer to you, right? But just notice if your back is really round, take them farther forward. Now take your elbows to the tops of the knees, lift your chest up and maybe you stay here. Or if you rather, you can take your wrists, your hands to the creases of your hips, and then your elbows can stay on the outsides of the knees, they can stay on top, or maybe you walk your feet in a little more and you take your elbows to the inside. But again, notice if you round a lot, lift your chest a bit more and breathe. Maybe you can hear the seagulls. I'm not so far from the ocean. One more breath, inhale. And on your exhalation, first lean a little bit forward, then take one elbow out, then take the other elbow out, cross your legs, and then roll your shoulders back. And then forward. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Start to bring yourself toward a tabletop position. As always, if your knees are sensitive, bring a blanket underneath your knees. If your wrists are sensitive, make fists with your hands instead. And here, just give yourself a few moments of absolute intuitive movement. So again, maybe your hips move side to side. And your spine also moves side to side. Your shoulders could get involved. Your neck could get involved. Perhaps you'd rather take circles with your hips around your knees and your shoulders around your wrists. Let the breath be the guiding force and everything else be secondary. Be just a byproduct of your breath. Of your intentionality of being present. If you're taking circles, make sure that you switch directions. If you've been doing the same movement for a while, perhaps you continue the same movement. Perhaps you realize that you want to do something a little bit different now. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Bring your knees perhaps a little bit wider and your hands a little bit wider. And then start to bring your right hand toward your hip. And again, you can keep your left hand on a fist to keep the wrist out of the way. And then as you inhale, draw your right shoulder open. Take your gaze to the right. Perhaps your right hand lifts up. Exhale, thread your right hand or simply take your hand back down as you look to the left. Inhale, open to the right as little or as much as you'd like. Exhale, lower down or thread your right hand and look to the left. One more, inhale. And exhale. Extend your hand back up. Maybe take a couple of circles with your right wrist one way. And then the other. And then lower your right hand. Move your hips side to side, breathe in. And breathe out. Other side now. So keep your right hand on the floor. Left hand can be on your hip as you start to open and twist here. And maybe you stay or reach the arm up. Inhale. And on your exhale, take your hand down or thread as you look to the right. Inhale, open to the left as much or as little as you feel. Exhale, take it down or thread. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your left hand to your hip and open up again and stay or maybe reach your left hand up. Circle it around one way and then the other. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, lower both hands. Move your hips side to side. Now bring your big toes to touch. Separate your knees. And perhaps you bring something between your sit bones and your heels to sit on. Perhaps you take your heels toward your hips, but not necessary, or your hips toward your heels, rather. You could also bring your forehead down to a forehead, to your, or <laughs> your forehead down to a block, or perhaps you take your fists to the floor and you take your forehead down. 
You can move your hips side to side. You can be in stillness. Breathe. Notice any tension in the back body, any tension in your hips. Maybe it is necessary. There's perhaps a reason why it's there. Maybe you find some habitual tension in your body that just by breathing in deeply and breathing out fully, it can soften. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Bring yourself back up toward your tabletop. Now, if you wanted to, perhaps if it's the end of your day, you stay in tabletop. If it's the beginning of your day, perhaps you take a downward dog by taking your hands a handprint forward, tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back, and stretch out. Or maybe you stay in your tabletop. So just choose what you'd like here. Take a deep breath in and out. Whether you're in tabletop or downward dog, start to take your right leg behind you. Again, if your knee is on the ground, maybe your toes also stay on the ground or maybe they lift. If you're in down dog, you kind of have to lift them. <laughs> take a deep breath in. And on your exhalation, bring your right knee toward your right elbow and then plant your right foot to the outside of your right hand. So perhaps it doesn't get very far forward by itself. You can grab your ankle with your hand and then move it a little further forward. If you want more sensation on your left leg, slide it back. And your left knee can be on the floor or lifted. Your hands can be on the ground or on blocks. And maybe you stay in stillness here, or as you inhale, you draw your right knee open and you lift your chest a little more. And as you exhale, you draw your knee in and you round your back a bit. Maybe you even take your hips back a bit. Inhale, hips forward, draw your knee open, lift your chest. Exhale, draw it in, maybe around. One more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, draw your knee open again, lift your chest. Maybe this time you stay or you take your left hand out to the side a bit more. Your right hand can come onto your right inner thigh and you can twist. And again, you could do this with your knee off the floor here. If your knee is off the floor, maybe you take your right arm up and you open back. If your knee is on the ground, perhaps you choose to bend your left knee. Two more breaths. Last one, inhale. And on your exhalation, whatever you did with the back leg, start to extend it, lower your knee to the floor. Bring both hands to the floor and then start to walk your right foot across toward the left and then bring it back toward your left knee. Now there's a chance that you want to extend your left leg and go to pigeon or maybe you bring your right hip to the floor and your left knee comes toward the side. If your knees are floating, you can use some of your props here, yeah? And wherever you are, lift your chest, relax your shoulders, take a deep breath in. And on your exhalation, leading with your chest, start to slowly lower it down. And you could stay down right away, or perhaps you want to flow twice. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, forward and down. One more time, inhale, come up. And on your exhalation, come down and maybe stay here taking your elbows to your blocks or to the floor or your forehead to your blocks or to the floor. Maybe you become aware of little areas of your body where tension is stuck. Perhaps it's a toe or you're squeezing your fists or clenching your jaw. If your mind wanders away, it's all right. Come back, feel what's here to be felt. Sometimes it might be more pleasant than others, but it's the opportunity of just being in the present moment, 
where life actually happens. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Bring yourself up if you went forward. Start to bring both legs around and start to lower yourself down toward your abdomen. Make a pillow with your hands for a moment. Rest your forehead down if you would like. And you can move your hips side to side with your legs extended or maybe you bend your knees and then you want to wiper your legs from side to side. Breathe. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Stretch your legs back if you bent them. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Squeeze your elbows back and as you inhale, lift yourself up. But instead of keeping your elbows really bent or your arms extended, go kind of somewhere in between. Maybe your shoulders even lift up a little and just let yourself move side to side. So it's less about what shape you take, about more how it feels and how you can Loosen up any tension in your spine right now. Inhale. Exhale. One more, breathe in. And breathe out. Take your hips back, maybe to tabletop, maybe to downward dog. Inhale deeply through your nose, fill up your lungs. Sigh it out. One more from wherever you are. Deep breath in. Side out. On your inhalation, take your left leg back from your tabletop or your downward dog. Keep your toes pointing down and your hips square. And on your exhalation, take your left knee to your left elbow. Shift your weight forward. Left foot to the outside of your left hand. Give it some help if it wants it. And maybe your right knee stays lifted or you lower it down. If you round your back a lot, I encourage you to use blocks to find a little more space to lift your chest and soften your hips forward. But again, if you're like, no, really, it really feels much better for me to round my back, then absolutely. You guys just notice what serves you today. And you can stay in stillness. As you inhale, you draw your knee open and you lift your chest. And as you exhale, you draw it in. A couple more times like that. Inhale, lift your chest, send your hips forward, draw your knee open. Exhale, draw the knee in, maybe round your back a little. Perhaps your hips move back a little as well. One more, inhale. And exhale. Send your hips forward, open through your knees, stay here. Or perhaps take your right hand out, turn your toes a little bit more to the left. And your left hand can come to your thigh as you find a little bit more of a twist. Breathe. One more breath. Inhale. And on your exhalation, start to bring yourself back through center. Square your hips. Perhaps come up if you went further down and then start to walk your left foot across to the right and then diagonally send it back as you lower your knee. So your shin is diagonal in front of you. And for some, sending the right leg back may feel nice, keeping your toes tucked first to make sure that your hips are square, so your heel is pointing up to the ceiling. Or if you rather, come down to your left hip and then swing your right leg around so your inner right thigh is on the floor. Maybe a block supports you underneath the knee. Maybe you have blocks in front of you. And again, you can choose to stay up. You can choose to come down or perhaps on your inhalation, you lift a little more. And on your exhalation, you come down. And you do that two more times. Inhale, lift, last thing to rise is your head. Exhale, wave back down. One more, inhale. And on your exhalation, stay or lower until you find a space where you can soften for a few moments. Chances are 
this side and the other side need different things, feel different. Can you let that be? Can you let that be okay? Sufficient. Take two more breaths wherever you are. And then start to slowly bring yourself up. And then instead of going back to your down dog or your tabletop, which you can if you want to, um, surrender your left hip to the floor if it's not already there. Bring your right leg around. Bring your feet in front of you and maybe sway your legs a little bit side to side for a moment. If you wanted to, you can take a reverse tabletop by bringing your hands behind. The fingertips could face toward you, toward your uh, feet, if your shoulders feel fairly open. Otherwise, start to dial your hand back until there's enough space for your shoulders. And bring your feet more or less underneath your knees to press into your feet and your hands as you lift your chest. And you can stay here with your bum on the ground. Or maybe you start to lift your hips up and keep your gaze forward as you find your reverse tabletop. Maybe your head goes back just enough to bring your spine into alignment, but make sure that you don't let the head just simply fall back. One more inhale. And on your exhalation, if you lifted your hips, lower them back down. And you can bring your feet perhaps a little wider depending on how much space you need for your torso. And then bring your arms around the knees and relax your head down. Maybe you let yourself sway a little side to side. Perhaps you give yourself a hug. Give yourself a moment to kind of caress your shoulders or your arms and it feels if it feels awkward I highly encourage you to do it a little more often. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Now if it's more toward the end of your day Consider bringing yourself to lie down on your back. If it's the beginning of your day or you want to be more energized, maybe you bring yourself to a comfortable seat. So it's really up to you. Just give yourself a little bit of time to stretch out, move around, whether you're going to a seated position or a lying down position. And once you arrive into the shape Maybe you recognize that there is one more pose that you would like to do before your practice feels complete. Or perhaps you recognize that in the same way that you showed up to move, you can now release, let go, and find stillness for a little while. So wherever you are, take a really deep inhalation through your nose, filling up front to back, side to side, top to bottom. Maybe hold at the top. and let it all go. Letting yourself surrender to what is just for a few moments. If you have extra time today, I encourage you to lower the volume of the app and I thank you for being here and I hope that you stay in this relaxed position for a bit longer. If it's time for you to move on with your evening or with your day, just start to bring movement back into your body. Maybe you start by moving your head a little bit side to side or you stretch yourself out. You can yawn, just whatever you need. And eventually bring yourself to a seated position. 
Move your choice. With your spine long, your shoulders relaxed, your jaw unclenched. Maybe one hand comes to your heart and the other hand comes to your belly. Taking this moment to observe how you feel in your physical body after your practice, after the choices that you've made for the last few minutes of breathing and being present, any chance you had. Notice the space between one thought and the next. Remembering that you can choose at any time that you want to, to not fully engage with the thoughts, but to just observe them. And just remember your intention if you set one at the beginning of this practice today. Maybe you recognize that it will serve you for the beginning of your day or your week. Or just to help you drift into sleep and rest. Or maybe you recognize that it has run its course and you can just let it go. So find a moment of gratitude by repeating within, thank you, thank you, thank you. Take a deep breath in. And side out. Bring your palms together in front of your heart in Anjali Mudra. Bow your head in gratitude and we'll seal this practice with one chant of Om. You can listen or join. Inhale. Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace in your body, your mind, and your spirit. Hari Om. Thank you, everybody. Take a moment to Bring movement back into your body if you're in stillness. And shake it out. And of course.